Today we are going to see how easy it is to install a smart circuit breaker such as this one, which is typically used to control a set of multiple outlets and the devices that are connected to them. And today we are going to see how easy it is to install this. It will be faster than this video. And although the typical usage is to control multiple devices, we are also going to use it to measure power consumption, especially because these new generations have one feature that are really interesting for PV systems. And I'm replacing all my older systems with this new generation that we have right over here because this will open a lot of possibilities and I will be sharing those possibilities here with you on the channel so if you're not subscribed already please consider doing it so so that I can deliver this kind of content. That being said let's go to our circuit breaker. Now let's proceed with the installation. In the example that you are seeing I'll be using a light bulb but instead of the bulb it could be a set of outlets or in our case a solar inverter. Yes, it will work with inverters, microinverters, any device connected to AC power will work. So in the partial panel that you can see right over here, we have one residual current device and one circuit breaker. We are not going to remove any, we will keep everything as it is, and we are going to add this. Now we are controlling the light bulb on the conventional way. I just push it up to turn on and push it down to turn on. Off. First step, just ensure that everything is powered off to avoid any accidents. Then let's open the panel. Don't mind some wires that you will be seeing there covered with black tape. Everything is disconnected. This is only a test panel that I use for experiments and tests before installing in partial or main panels. We will install the Shelly Pro 1PM and start by connecting the phase cable that goes to the light bulb. In this case will be the solar inverter. So we just need to remove it from the old circuit breaker output and connect it to the top of the Shelly Pro 1PM where it says Oh, so this will be the output that will power the light bulb, will power the inverter or a set of outlets. Now we will need to power the Shelly with a phase or with live. So take the phase or live from the circuit breaker that previously switched the light bulb directly. But now we will need instead of one cable, two cables. We will need to power the Shelly at the bottom where it says live and at the top where it says I. And if you haven't seen the shim, I will leave it here for a few seconds so that you have an idea of what we are talking about before you purchase. But if you take a look at the links that I have down below, Shelly on their website have all these shims so you can have a better look. And once we have the phase or live connected to Shelly on both entries that we have just seen, we just need to connect the neutral. So we will connect a cable to the neutral input on the Shelly and link it to the neutral buzz bar. And that's it. If you thought that it was a complicated thing to do, no. Simple as this. And at this moment we can go back to our panel, close the cover and restore the power supply. After turning on the RCD and the circuit breaker, you will see that the Shelly is powered. We will see here a LED with power and then afterwards one with Wi-Fi. From there, just proceed with connecting it with the app, which is very simple and user-friendly. Actually, these new generation devices are very easy, even easier than before, because they will be detected automatically via Bluetooth. Once connected, we can then turn it on and off via the app. We can schedule tasks and monitor energy consumption as well. Now for solar inverters or microinverters, the setup is exactly the same and that's how I'm using it. I'm replacing the light bulb with an inverter. Basically that is it. But the connection process is exactly the same. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get even cheaper. Now as I said I'm updating older generation of these devices on my four PV systems that I use here. I do have multiple systems to measure not only from Shelly but other devices as well so that I can keep an eye if they are accurate and actually they are. At this moment they are able to measure negative power which is power that it's produced from the sun on our solar 
solar PV systems and then gets injected. Something that on the first generation was not possible. And that opens a lot of opportunities of the things that we can do with these devices, especially with solar PV systems. Now, there is one thing that I didn't enjoy so much in terms of the installation, which is we had to put a neutral and a live but besides that, we also had to put another alive cable on the top. And where I live, this is usually something that we don't do. Either we power on one side or on the other side. And I try to implement all the best practices that I'm aware of and share all this huge adventure with you. But having that in mind, if you have a lot of questions and doubts, then my suggestion is to hire someone that knows a certified electrician that can install this device or any other. The device. If you are doing by yourself, then take all the measures so that you don't hurt yourself because this is electricity and we can't play around. That being said, hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did so, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you on the next one.